Hi beautifuls, welcome back to Lexi's Tarot Card Reading. Today I will be doing a reading on um, your person. I'm going to try to get a collective reading for everyone. So this reading is for everyone. Um, this reading may not resonate. So just take what, um, what resonates, okay? The deck that I'll be using today is the <clears throat> Sexual Tarot deck, um, some love letters at the end, and then I will also be using the light and shadow uh, messages from your person. So things that they can um, tell you or things that they're um, dealing with at the time. So let's get right into it. Guardian angels and oh my, yeah. Guardian angels and spirit guides. What messages do you have today for my collectives? For my collectives. So, um, I keep seeing the Three of Swords. Um, possibly I just went through that. Um, somebody I just went through a breakup, a heartbreak. Um, maybe something happened in our lives recently. <clears throat> but let's see. Guardian Angels and Spirit Guides, what messages do y'all have? For my collectives. What messages is there for my collective? So we have one card. We have the moon. So the moon talks about um, secrets and um, hidden things. So let's see. So secrets. So maybe there's something that you don't know about. Uh, possibly this person could be hiding a secret from you. Let's see. What other messages do you have? Maybe um, there's something that they want to tell you, but they're holding back. So I don't know. Let's see. What's going on? Okay, we have two more cards. The second card we have is the King of Swords. Y'all may be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Libra, Gemini, or um, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. So we have the Ace of Swords. So the Ace of Swords talks about clarity, but the Moon is the opposite. So there, there is someone who may want, who could be very intellectual. Um, um, who wants to tell you something but they can't. I also see that possibly they could have another person and they cannot express this. Like they cannot tell you this. What else? Guardian Angels. One more card. Um, they have the Nine of Cups. So that talks about wish fulfillment. So they feel like you are the one possibly they're in another situation but they feel like you're the one and then we have death at the bottom of the deck so yeah i could have um, broken up or um they want you a new beginning especially with this queen of wands they want a new beginning with you so that's the message i'm getting someone wants to talk to you but 
um, possibly they're not telling you, but what they want to tell you, what this person wants to tell you, um, that they see you as a wish fulfillment and they want a new beginning with this death card. Um, yeah, so let's see. Let's see what their light or shadow self wants to tell you. Guardian angels and spirit guides, what messages do you have for my collective? Okay, so what is your person, what does the collective person want to tell them? We have, it was like a fairy tale when we met. So possibly they're thinking about the day that y'all met. How y'all met, they could be daydreaming. I did see the Seven of Cups in the deck. Let's see. <clears throat> we have the shadow self so it says I contradict myself and give you mixed messages and then I'm focused on my career over love right now so right now they're focused on their money um, they're not giving so much effort into this situation possibly that's why um they're holding back they're hiding their feelings and then they say they give you mixed messages so just like the reading was saying they have a, they have these feelings for you but they don't um show it they don't tell you them so they could show it to you they could you know act loving or caring for those who are with this person but they don't tell you, they don't open up. So let's see, one more card. <clears throat> and right now, um, they could just be focused a lot on their money and not trying to settle down. So they may have these feelings or whatever, but they are taking it lightly one more card guardian angels so i'm gonna pull one card it says you understand me better than anyone and it says i still love you i want to be with you so this could be your ex or someone that you're not speaking to at this moment they love you but um, um they're not doing the job what they're supposed to do okay so now we're gonna get a love letter from your person to end this beautiful reading I wanted to keep it short what messages do, does their person have at this moment to say for my collective? So we have, you are much more beautiful than you know. You know, so uh, they really think you're the most beautiful person they've had, they've seen, they've been with. Um, you are on their thoughts a lot. They're really daydreaming about you. 
What other messages is there for my collective? Okay, we got two. We have, I still remember the first day we met. So again, the remembering the day that um, they're like in a nostalgic state, just remembering when I met, the good times and stuff. I don't feel financially stable enough to commit to this connection right now. So they're um, focused on work or whatever, their money, because they, they feel insecure. They don't feel like if they were to get in a relationship with you, they'll be able to provide for you and for themselves. So that's what's going on. That's why possibly they don't want to commit or don't want to take that step forward because they feel like they don't have the money. They're not financially stable to do so. So we have three cards. Okay. I just don't see how this could work. So yeah, possibly because there's no money coming in. They're like, well, you know, he may like to take you out or buy you gifts and he may feel bad if he doesn't. So that's why he doesn't want to move this relationship along. We have, you mean the world to me. So you see those kind of um, mixed signals and stuff. Um, I was made to love you. And last but not least, we have, it wasn't you, it was me. So most definitely, I feel like it was this person's decisions and actions. Um, it was more about them than um, than anything affecting this um, relationship, this connection that I had. So he was focused more on money and the material than um, being loyal or... Uh, being loyal loving and caring you know because not for everyone not everyone cares about just money they just want someone to be there for them so i'm gonna get a fairy oracle to end this reading let's see what messages do you have guardian angels and spirit guides for my collective tonight well we have a lot let's put them back in one card is enough guardian angels and spirit guides what message do you have for my collective at this moment Okay, we have one card. Shine from within. So it says, looks are only skin, skin deep. Uh, true beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for re revealing your true beauty. And then we have purity. So it says, always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart. And within it, you will find the answer to your question. So if your guardian angels and spirit guides are saying, if you have a, a question, if look inside your heart deep down, your answer is there. So I hope you enjoyed this quick reading. And I thank you so much for coming by. If you like this reading, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for coming by. Ciao.